If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Feeve Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to use the 10 20 30 trading method to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments, and then all the other links down there as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this video. So guys, the 10, 20, 30 trading method has kind of been a popular trading method for a couple years now, but it's weird to get into it first, know how to use it, when to use it, and how to make it most efficient. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. So you're gonna set your quality here to special, and then you're gonna set your minimum bid price to 10,000, your maximum bid price to 20,000, and your minimum buy now to 30,000, hence the 10, 20, 30 trading method. And what this does is it gives you cards that have kind of a low bid price between 10 and 20,000 that are special cards, but they have a high buy now because they're 30,000 or more. So we search in here, and what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be looking for deals on bid. So how do you know what is a deal? So first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna flick through in any card that has a bid on it, you're gonna check the price of. And how are you gonna check the price, know the prices? Now knowing the prices is kind of the best way and the most efficient way to get this done. If you can know the prices of all these special cards, it's gonna make this really quick and really efficient. Now if you don't, what you can very easily do is jump over to Footman here and say for example, I wanna see the price of this 84 rated Declan Rice. I would quickly just type in Rice. I'd say he's 11 and a half thousand coins. I'd come back over and I'd see it's not worth bidding on him. And essentially, this is the method in itself. We're looking for deals on bid on special cards. Now, the ones that work the best are gonna be the special cards that are out of packs. So for example, right now, you wouldn't be looking to pick up team of the weeks that are in packs like Galaxy, like Atal, because there's gonna be so many of them or even like rule breakers are gonna be tough to pick up. But like ones to watches, you can get great deals on. Informs that are out of packs, you can get great deals on. So that's kind of what you're gonna be looking for the most. Now, when do you wanna be doing this method? How is it gonna make you the most coins? The best time to do this is very late at night. We're talking like 3, 4 a.m. UK, which is 10, 11 p.m. my time, which kind of makes me able to do this much easier because it's not literally the middle of the night. But the reason for this is you're just going to have less people on the game bidding on these cards because this is a very popular method. So let's go find a card that we could potentially get a deal on. Let me flick forward a couple pages here. And if we kind of have a look, and what you can do is like pick out specific special cards you want to look at as well. So I could go, for example, ones to watch here and kind of have a look here, or I could go road to the knockout and just play around with those as well. So maybe I flip through the ones to watches here and see what kind of deals are on bid, like Sabitzer for 10 250. I tag him, keep him in my transfer targets, and just hang on to these guys until you could potentially find one. But Let's go ahead and find one here and kind of give you an idea of what the thought process is when you find a card that you could find a deal on. Man, someone has listed up a bajillion Jekos there. So if we take a look, how much is Atal going for? I've seen quite a few bids on him. So with Atal, he goes for about 19,000 coins here. Now what you have to keep in mind is EA tax. EA has a 5% tax on any time you sell an item. So if I were to sell this guy, for 1900 I was I would lose 950 of those coins so I'd really only get 18,000 coins so it's not really going to be worth it for me to buy this guy for 17 and a half K sell him for 19 and make next to nothing basically so I would move on to the next special card I can find that could be a deal and again these guys that are in packs like this Simeone this Gunter there's just going to be so much supply of them and they're so cheap that it's not even worth you know trying to pick them up and make coins off of them 
Now, where we can make some coins, let's kind of check. Again, this rule breaker is in packs, but I don't really know his price, so I want to check. Because knowing these prices makes this so much easier for you. You can be so much quicker on these cards. So he goes about 14k. So we'll have a look here. Glendoozy, no chance he goes for something. David Silva, how much are you going for? And this is why Footpin is just your best friend. You can just sit here with it open. He goes 27K. So again, you have to take into account tax. We're not going to buy him for 27K. And then once you find a card that works, for example, let's say once to watch Bear Guise is just amazing for this. And I'm winning every single one. What I would do personally is just literally go Bear Guise. And if I find a card that's working, I would just search special Berguise and just flip through here and wait for every single one that I can bid on because it would make it so so easy to win these so that's kind of the idea with this is once you find something that's working stick with it there's no reason to change it up which is what I say with most trading methods if you find something that's working don't be desperate to change it because if you're making coins there's no reason to so that's kind of a big thing here as well. But yeah, it's typically going to be hard to win these cards when you're doing this at a time that I am, which is basically peak time. Like right before I'm uploading this video is when I'm recording it. Uh, it's not going to be uploaded later or whatever. So it kind of gives you an idea of this time. It's just not a great time to do this. Late at night, you're going to be finding lots of deals on these special cards, making really easy coins. Now, Let's kind of talk about the next thing with this method. Let's say you're sitting somewhere where I'm at, where I've got like a million coins. And what you can do actually is you can go ahead and modify this trading method and make it the 100, 200, 300 trading method. So I'd set my min, my min bid price to 100K, my max bid price to 200K, and my minimum buy now to 300K here. And basically, now I would go through and look for cards again. I see a deal Hernandez with a bit on him here i'm gonna go quickly check his price he sells for a hundred and ninety four thousand by the looks of things so i mean you take out tax i don't even want to do this in my head make myself look stupid <laughs> um so i would get a hundred and eighty four thousand coins from so that's a good deal right there for you but nope and now it is not a good deal because someone has gone and bid on him i'd go and look at lineker now here as 87 he goes for 170 i lose what is that 17 i lose eight and a half k on him still a good deal there pretty good deal actually so gonna keep it let me look at his market sales history as well with the cards that are more rare i typically look at the market sales history on flipbin just to see so he has been selling closer to 160 it looks like so it's actually not a crazy deal probably could sell him 165 but let's go skulls doesn't look like anything Bracy, bobby moore i guess i'll check his price and it's just this continuous cycle of trying to uh try to pick these cards up for cheap on bid which again is why it's so good late at night so bobby moore here if we take a look i can show you what i'm looking at bobby moore here hundred fifty thousand coins but what i want to do is go to the market sales history here and see really what he's been selling for. He sold for 155, 151, 150. So 150 to 160 to 155 is kind of his typical range he's selling in. So selling for 150K, I lose 7.5K on tax. So anything like 138K or less, I would love for this card right here. But guys, that's gonna be kind of our basic rundown of the 10, 20, 30 method, how you're gonna do that and how you can kind of change it if you are on a higher budget. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.